Hey guys, how's it going? It is Robbie with Open World Games, and boy, do we have a huge announcement today. It is about Homefront the Revolution. Guys, this game is going to be absolutely huge from what I'm hearing. We have news about Homefront screenshots, brand new screens to show you guys. Homefront is going to the open world, and will also include four-player co-op details about all of that, and then the release date and platform. So guys, stay tuned. Now we're talking about Homefront. So it's really exciting to see Homefront going to the open world. This game is going to be called Homefront The Revolution and it's going to be taking place in Philadelphia. That's right, what a unique location. I was really thrilled to hear about a unique location that we've never been to and it's going to be Philadelphia. And you can see by these screenshots, these are brand new, the game looks amazing. We have a Molotov cocktail being thrown right here. This just shows the desperate struggle you are going to be in for against the Koreans. And then we have this area. This looks like it's going to be a hub world that you're going to be purchasing ammo and upgrades. As you can see, the sign actually reads upgrades. So that's going to be a ton of fun to explore the world and then upgrade your character in an RPG fashion. This is a really cool shot for you Fallout fans. I think this game will really appeal to you because it is post-apocalyptic looking. I mean, just look at the screenshot. The buildings are in such disarray and there's such desperation. It's going to be a ton of fun surviving in this world. And this screenshot really shows off the lighting engine in the game. You could see the fire reflecting off their bodies and then the spotlight searching out potential threats. And yes, there will be stealth elements in this game, so look forward to that as well. And here we have what appears to be a rebel fighter looking outward to the enemy patrols. And what's interesting about this screenshot is, as you can see, his weapon is pretty makeshift. You will be able to craft items in this game. So that's another element they are adding to Homefront. And the comparison can be drawn to Far Cry 3. That is a great comparison because in Far Cry 3, you did have crafting systems. And I would also compare it to Rage in that way. I don't know how extensive the crafting system will be, but we will be finding out soon enough. And here is your first look at the PS4 box art. Of course, the box art is going to be pretty similar for PC and Xbox One. But this game looks like it's going to be pretty gritty, guys, and a ton of fun to really play and survive in. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm very surprised once again that this is open world. I'm blown away that they took this into the open world. But it seems to be coming more and more of a trend that games are going open world, which is wonderful to see. I cannot wait to play it. As you can see by the recent trailer, this game is gorgeous, and there is a reason for that. This is Crytek, guys. They make some of the best looking games in the gaming industry. And there's another reason for it too. This game is a next gen only game. It's not compromised by last gen technology, meaning the game will be a complete next gen experience appearing on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Awesome to hear, much like The Division. I'm looking forward to both of these games. And the release date is 2015, so we're gonna be seeing two huge titles in 2015. Actually, three huge titles, Far Cry 4, The Division, and then now, Homefront, The Revolution, all open world games, and two of them pretty post-apocalyptic looking. So that is going to be very interesting seeing The Division going head to head with Homefront, The Revolution. But in terms of multiplayer, what are we gonna see from Homefront The Revolution? I am comparing The Division to Homefront The Revolution, which is sort of unfair because The Division is an MMO and Homefront isn't. But guess what? It is going to have four player cooperative play, but unfortunately, it seems to be separate from the single player campaign. I was really hoping to experience this story with friends. I think it's so important to have that option, of course, for you single player lovers out there, you should have the option of playing a single player campaign if you want that. And then for anyone that's into multiplayer co-op, go ahead and jump in with friends. I think it would have been great if they added that in there. But no word on competitive multiplayer, unfortunately. Hopefully we hear about that soon because guys, Homefront was one of my favorite 
competitive multiplayer games and then Battlefield 3 came out, but it had so much potential. And I really hope Crytek taps into that potential and includes vehicles in this game. I think this game absolutely has to have vehicles. From what I'm seeing, you will be able to craft drones and other vehicles of those kinds, so that's going to be cool. And then you will be hacking as well, and stealth will play a big role in the game. So it is going to have the core gameplay design of games like Far Cry 3, which is great because Far Cry 3 was one of the best games of 2012, I think we would all agree. So again, expect Homefront The Revolution in 2015, and it will be releasing on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and of course, me and Ryan right here on Open World Games are going to continue our extensive coverage of Far Cry 4 The Division, Homefront The Revolution, and so much more, so guys, stay tuned for that. Press the subscribe button if you are interested in open world games. And also join our Facebook and Twitter communities. We have a lot of great open world gamers out there. Guys, exciting times for open world gamers. I cannot wait to see the unveil at E3 2014, June 9th. Circle your calendars. It's going to be extremely exciting for open world games. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.